to delete a document we'll create the route first so endpoints dot then it's a delete request so type delete then we can call it maybe delete delete then forward slash cannot spell delete so delete forward slash then the id of the document so id so that they will pass so that the, the user can pass the id so that we can just grab the document with that id and then delete that document so we we'll have our function maybe delete sorry so we have the function delete doc function over here so we we'll pass the id then we we'll set it to be a string so that the id will be in a string format so we we'll come down and we'll have our blocks collection dot we we'll use the find underscore one find one and delete so find one and delete so this will get one document and then delete that document so make sure to put our semicolon over here so i didn't put the semicolon so go and put the semicolon so blocks collection dot find one and delete so we have a problem with our indent indentation so i have to give spaces so that it will match with this to fix that problem so I'll pass the ID of the block I want to delete. So to pass the ID, I simply pass the, the dictionary. And inside the dictionary, I'll pass the ID. So the underscore ID. Then I'll use my object ID. And I'll just pass the ID inside the object ID. So this will simply find the document with that ID and delete the document. So we can return a simple message. So we have status. So the status should be okay. And we have a message saying document have been deleted successfully. So if we save this and then we run it so let's refresh everything so we we'll refresh our docs so let's get the id of the document we want to delete so let's get this one and then let me close this tab so click on the delete over here the delete tab and click on the try out and then paste the id over here and then click on execute so scroll down then you get document have been deleted successfully so let's confirm everything so now we have two documents over here so if i refresh it so if i refresh then i'll have one document so the first document have been deleted so guys that's how to simply perform a crowd operations with pymongo and that's just the basics of pymongo so if you need a more advanced pymongo course just make sure to give me a feedback and then drop just drop your feedbacks